Good morning. We're at the office. I brought some PVA, but uh, it's a little bit used and open, so I think I need to dry it out. So uh, I have one of these uh, dryers. These are actually for drying fruit, but you can put filament in, put it to like 50 degrees Celsius, put it on the lid, and let it do its magic. So, and I didn't show you guys that, but this morning I had to cancel the print, or actually yesterday I had to cancel the print that you will see now uh, of the Benchy. It looks really, really good, but I had to cancel it because I was uh, I, I needed to move the machine, otherwise I couldn't print. Um, so I had to plug it out of the power and then in again. So um, the Benchy is not complete, but as soon as I get back home, which will be in an hour, I'll be able to show you it. Um, so let's just do that. Let's get get home, get to the printer and experience what next we can do. Okay, so finally home. <laughs> I know, it took a little bit of a while, sorry about that. I do have a confession to do. Uh, before, yesterday, I said that I would print something and show you guys today. But the honest thing is that I didn't have time to do it. So I'll show you the finished results. Uh, let me just zoom in. So I had to stop the machine because I was going away and I didn't want to leave my first print unattended, which, I mean, it should work <laughs> anyway. But I was just tired. I wanted to finish the day, do some editing, so I couldn't finish it. But I mean, if you look at this result here, this is super awesome. This is the standard file that was sliced on the SD card. And let's see how it So with that said, I think it's time we try to do another file and uh, print together. What do you say? Um, so as Roger pointed out, the French version of the Progen actually works. So um, now I have no idea what this means, but I can understand this. So we have 0.4 millimeter nozzles. We have colorfilla and colorfilla. But I also brought home the uh, PVA, but we'll, uh, let's just start off with some colorfilla. And it's colorfilla PLA, PLA. Um, I see the logos here, so I guess this is for Simplify 3D. Aha! Look at this! Long behold, we actually got a profile. So that's awesome. Let's open up Simplify 3D. And let's uh, import profile. It should be right here. There we go. Yeah, awesome. So now if we import a model, which I don't know what to import yet, but um, I do want to keep it simple. So maybe we can do like a uh, 3D Benji, simple, um, but I want to try a different mode here. So in this here, we'll go with the, um, I haven't really decided what I should do. <laughs> Uh, let's go with the, uh, 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 let's go with the standard. What layer do we have? We have 0.15. All right, that's cool. So let's go with right extruder for infill and for both extruders. Right, left, everything looks good. Infill, right extruder, 0.4. Let's go with uh, concentric and a little, little bit lower resolution. Uh, okay, so let's just not do too much. Let's slice it and see how the tools work. Oh, look at that. This would be pretty cool. One hour. So let's start off with this one and um, yeah, go from there. Now, this is Editing Anton. And Editing Anton understands that using a infill with a, with a white filament and a outlines with a gray filament 
with the same exterior size? Well, it kind of doesn't make sense, but I didn't realize that while pushing the printer, so uh, we're just gonna go with it. But there's uh, something that came up, and you'll see what. Alright, so I haven't really been watching this print, but it does look a little bit weird. Um, I think that I have missed one detail. Let me just show you what I mean. So this model here is, it's supposed to be uh, infill with uh, white, but exterior with gray. Just to try out the dual extrusion, but I think I've, um, yeah, let me just show you. Yeah, there is actually this wiper here. Um, it is a little bit rough here, so I'm just gonna shut off the machine so I can show you. So uh, when I move this nozzle, it's, it's quite, it's quite rough here. So you can see down here, this is not a normal purge. I think it has to do with my settings or that this part here was uh, wrongly put in by me. So uh, I think that's the issue because if we look down here in the purge, this here is not a normal uh, purge. So something got, got weird here. This, I mean, the normal string is, is okay, but that blob is, that's something else. It probably got stuck here. I did hear a strange noise. So I think the, the extruder actually got stuck there. So I think this uh, this here is set too high. So I'm just gonna fix that quickly by lowering it down. So with this here, I can actually remove the whole cart. I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna push it down a little bit. And I did adjust this here when I did a calibration. So now it moves a little bit easier if we take this one. Yeah, that's still wiping good, but this one here, seems to be much better, so I think that that was just it. A little bit rough on this here. So that that's why this print isn't the most beautiful. It is white inside, <laughs> which is pretty cool, uh, but it's, it's as uh, I was talking to the BCN guys, and <laughs> I'm doing quite stupid stuff. So um, this function is best when you have uh, like, like a um, 0.6 millimeter nozzle and a 0.4 for example. So that's all today. Today is Friday. It's getting uh, to that time where I need to be at a social event. So I need to go now. Um, with that said, I think I have to end the vlog today. Uh, I know it's a little bit short. I didn't print that much, but it did print. It looks good, except for the, the fail, basically. But that's, that's on me. So uh, tomorrow is Saturday, which is going to be a long day. I will be able to do a lot of more hands-on printing, doing some more advanced stuff. But also that means that I'm gonna do like all the professionals and film on Saturday but release on Sunday. So today is Friday and I'm filming Friday and releasing Friday which isn't really a good thing. So tomorrow is not gonna be a vlog, there's another video coming for you. But on Sunday there will be a Saturday vlog and so on. So uh, stay tuned, thanks for watching, uh, let me know what you want me to print and test out. So um, see you in the next video, bye.